Okay, the way I start is I write down switch color. So we got power switch, and that would be orange. And then we got reset, and that would be blue. And then we got the power LED, and that would be green. And that only leaves red, right? So you got the HDD, and that would be red. So now I got that info, I can depend these, and I'll show you how I depend one of them. I'm not going to bore you with every single little detail. There's little plastic tabs. Okay, I'm going to just show this to you really close, because I thought that might make it slightly easier for you. I generally pinch it like this. I don't even really think about what I'm doing because I do it so much, but I push the metal parts forward. Okay, Then I grab the pin and I just barely lift that booger up. Just like that. Out comes the wire. Okay, And then I push it up again. You get in that little tiny notch that's between the metal and the thing. See how little that's lifted up? Tiny amount. That's all you want to do. And the other part, which I don't know if you could see before, is, is I use my pinky, I pinch out the amount of tape I want, and I come in with my scissors, snip, okay, I have control of everything, I can put that down. Now I got my itsy bitsy piece of tape. Okay, the idea is to cover the metal parts that are going to get scritchy scratchy on the fibers, right? So you want that tape to touch itself to bond, then you fold that part over and spiral up with a little stretch action. And that gives you this little tail. And then you can nip that off. Once you got all of them done, you would nip it off. Just so it goes through there nice. Pinch it. And that'll slide through easier than the metal bits. Okay. I'm going to show you how you get started. This is the stuff, right? The ends should be all melted together pretty much. Okay. While they're still pliable and soft. You can get one of your boogers started in there. Get your other one right up beside it. Okay. And then the way this works, okay, you can push it for a little while, but it's going to stop. You grab, you pinch and push, pinch and push, pinch and push, like that. Okay. Until you get down the whole cable. And as you can see, this dense weave is completely hiding the rainbow. Okay, but I missed one little step I want to show you. And that is keeping your wires nicely flat to each other. And that's after you've massaged them. You don't want them one on one side, one on the other. It's just going to screw you up. You want them to be side by side all the way down the line. And if they aren't, then that's going to make problems. Orange on one side, blue on the other, all the way down the line. Now obviously when you expand it, you can see through it a little bit, but as you tighten it out, it becomes completely black. And that's why you run your fingers along the whole length of it. And this will also let you feel, are your cables laying side by side, or is there a twist somewhere? And you'll find usually there will be a twist, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, there we go. So, as you inch along, which you have to do from the introductory end so that you keep your two leads paired at this end, right? You don't want them jumping around from each other. So each time you push forward enough to grab your leads, stroke it out. That's how you feed it along there. Okay, now what I do is, is I push the sleeving right off the roll before I cut it, right up to where I feel like I want to start putting my heat shrink, like about maybe here would be good for some heat shrink. Okay. Right? So now I'll massage that massage that down. Now I'm getting out of frame here, but now you see you're about here. So I'm, I really want to cut it about right maybe there. Okay. So all I need to do is pull and lead it back. See how I'm trapping everything with my fingers so I don't lose track of where I'm going to be. And then I let this come out and I go, okay, see, 
even though I pushed way far, it doesn't matter. That's where I want it. And you don't want to cut it real close to the ends because it'll make it open too much. So what you want to do is have your lighter handy. Flip it. And you make it round. And you apply the flame. Just enough to melt it. Okay? And while it's still pliable, before it gets hard, and if it does get hard, when it gets at the end, you just heat it a little tiny bit. And make it open up enough. You can get it right around your leads. Okay, now, what I want to do is I want to have just the right amount. Okay. And you want this to be pulled. That's why you don't want your cables twisted over each other, because that will take up extra thing. That's where I want it. Pinch it. Push the anaconda down the hippopotamus. Okay, and poop that hippopotamus out over here. And as you can see, I've got twisted leads. Twisted it around. This is the deal. You want to make sure those are side by side. So you can feel it with your fingers as you go back and forth. Go back and forth on it a few times. Yep, this is going to work out good. All right, let me show you how you can do heat shrinking really nice and neat. Uh, if you use scissors, the larger heat shrink will squirm underneath it, so you determine how much you want it to go. It doesn't shrink terribly any long wise, but it does wrap up. So if you only want that much over the end, and you just want a short little one, you don't want some giant lead, okay? I use a razor knife, okay, and what allows me to get it parallel is I can eyeball it right against the end of my ruler and get a perfect clean cut, just like a guillotine. And then you get a clean little section and you can repeat it so you know that you also want the other end to look that way too. Cut both at the same time. Okay, set them aside. And then I'm going to make the smaller leads. They're going to be longer. They're going to be twice as long. So I make them identical at the same time. And again, right, this keeps everything consistent and uniform. The whole purpose of sleeving your case is, is to express yourself and to show your personal tidiness or whatever it is about your PC. You know, this is what my cables look like. So, you might as well make them uniform and square. Okay, here's how I heat shrink the ends for the little squids I'm making. It moving. You know, I can see it's really tightened up nice. It's really nicely tightened up. That's one little squid. And I'll do the other one. Okay, the next step is uh, on my little squid ends is I get the sleeve right up to the small. And I split it. You can feel it with your finger. Heat it. Let it jump around as you rotate it. So take your time, and you don't want to melt anything. You just want to shrink the heat shrink. Okay. You start seeing the print of the cable through it. You're good to go. It's pretty good. If you're worried about your heat shrink slipping, out of this, doesn't want to grab it. You can put another piece underneath it, but I think that's going to be fine. Feels good. Now the next thing is you just grab it, and you don't want to twist your cables. You just want to expand it all the way to the end. Okay. And you, once you've slipped it all down and got it nice and tight the way you want. That's when you grab it on this end. Try not to char it. Different lighters work better. Find a lighter that doesn't char. I used that one up already, so this is my backup lighter. Gotta get another one. If you want it too hot, you just want a nice clean end. And 
that is one done. Okay, we're going to use the next larger heat shrink for this little bit fatter deal. We're going to check it out right now. See how it, see how it looks. It's more of that beautiful German cellophane tape that's thicker than our tape. What's up with that? Okay. Beautifully sealed, melted in, ready for me. It's ready. Let's see how it goes over the giant knob. No problem, huh? Let's see how it bags up around. Is it going to look funny around that cable? Is it too big? Let's see if we stretch it. Looks very nice if we stretch it. That's the trick to cable. She is to stretch it at both ends until it gets tight around it. That looks gorgeous. So let's feed it on there, see how much we need. So you can see I'm treating this sleeving like it was made of iridium or something. I don't want to waste any of it. So far I think I've wasted about an inch and a quarter of, of beautiful stuff. I don't know if I'll ever survive the humiliation. Anyway, we want to get this down. This is about where you would start thinking about putting your new heat shrink to trap this over the old heat shrink. And then you want it to extend over the whole plug. Okay, so this has got to be a little bit further so it doesn't look so long. Alright, I don't want it to look like a damn squid, but I also don't want it to be stiff. See, the thing about this kind of a connection is, is that you may have to put it like this or this, and you don't want it to be crazy stiff, so I've got to have a little pliability, so I want it over that far part there. And then we'll do the stretch. Okay, another way you can mark where your stuff's going to be, you know, you got to let it be able to be flexible enough to slip over your deal, but you could put a little piece of tape on it so you know where you want to cut it. So if I wanted to cut that about right there, that would be fine. And then all i got to do is push it past so I can do that. Do it from the end. Push it past so I can clip it. Okay. Flip it, pull off the tape, melt it into a nice round. Make sure it still goes over the deal without stretching out too much. Right? You don't want it to. Now you can gently heat it again, and it'll draw up a little bit if you pull it together. You don't want a big bulge or flare. See where that heat shrink begins and that begins. I'm going to overlap that if I got it right. So let me grab that. And then pull to the end and see if I got it right or if I went too far. So now I'm going from heat shrink to heat shrink with the thing pulled tight. Next step is just to cut a couple of pieces of this and put it on. Okay, here it is. Just like I promised Nils, I would show the finished product outside in the natural sunlight. Fortunately, it is no longer overcast, so we don't have the ideal lighting conditions. But look at the lovely high-density sleeving and how it hides the rainbows of wires. And that's what it's all about, guys. Just making it the way you want, you know. And it's PC modding. Alright, this is going back to Rick. I run down to the post office, give me an excuse to ride my motorcycle. It's a beautiful day. I think I'm done fooling around in the shop for a little while anyway.